What's up guys, I'm Joel from AchievementHunter.com and this is Crisis 2. Crisis 2 is a first person shooter game that came out back in March of 2011 that I thought was pretty awesome when it first came out. The story that I found to be really, really good when I was playing through it my first time. Now as most of you guys know, the Crisis series is famous for being one of the best looking video game series out there. So I won't go into graphics too much, as I'll just be repeating what countless others have probably said before me. Just know that it's a fantastic looking game, and it's definitely worth buying just on the graphics alone. The game also has a very deep level of gameplay, which is added so by the game's nano suit. The different suit modes really do help to add to the tactical aspect of the game. You can approach every level in the game in virtually any way you see fit. If you want to go sneaking past enemies, go right on ahead. If you want to go balls out and take on the Ceph head on, you can do that too. If you want to do a mix of both, that's also a valid option. It's a really amazing game. It's really worth your time. Let's talk about some achievements. Uh, the game has a bunch of collectibles throughout the game. Uh, there are two collectibles. One is the Taurus for 15 gamer score, find all New York souvenirs. And the other one is a secret achievement called Speeding Ticket for 10 gamer score, which is to break the speed limit in front of Ted's speed cameras. Now, the souvenirs are basically just regular collectibles that you'll find throughout the game. The Speeding Ticket ones, they are actual speeding tickets that you can get by breaking the speed limit because, um,. Throughout the, there are certain levels that have speeding cameras on them that you need to run really fast in front of to activate them, and that's basically the whole concept. Just th the suit makes you really, really fast, so you just gotta run in front of them, and then you'll get the speeding ticket, no problem. Now the game also has a bunch of achievements that are just kill a bunch of enemies with a bunch of different weapons, but it also has a bunch of level-specific achievements as well such as hole in one for 10 gamer score throw an alien down the sinkhole in dark heart and uh, band of brothers for 15 gamer score keep all marines alive during the rescue and semper fi or die and stealth assassin for 15 gamer score reroute the power in the eye of the storm without being detected and there is a couple more like that and uh, those aren't really too difficult to get you just gotta know how to do it if you just look at a guide online uh, Rooster Teeth has already, I'm sorry, Achievement Hunter's done some guides on those already, so I don't really see a need to do those guides. And, uh, it has a standard beat the game difficulty achievement for veteran and super soldier. The veteran one is Men of Destiny for 45 gamma score, complete the single player campaign on veteran difficulty. And the other one is Super Soldier for 65 gamma score, complete the single player campaign on Super Soldier. And don't worry, the difficulties do stack, so you can p pick Super Soldier your first time around. And to be honest, this game actually isn't too difficult, even on Super Soldier difficulty. I mean, if you just play the right way, this game is really a breeze. It's a really easy thousand game, really easy game a thousand. You'll have a fun time doing it. I recommend picking it up. But uh, this game also has a multiplayer aspect, which surprisingly is still pretty active. I didn't think a game this like this would actually have an active multiplayer after a couple of years but I hopped on online a couple of days ago and it's actually pretty active uh, some the only there's a multiplayer achievement for reaching rank 50 which might take you some time but uh, there's one achievement which might turn off a lot of you true achievement hunters which is dedication for 25 gamma score play online six months after your first time now that is a real bitch to get. It, it's actually the easiest achievement in the game. It's just the fact that you have to wait so long to get it which might turn you off on the game. In fact, when this game first came out and six months had passed, this achievement had glitched out for a lot of people. And I'm one of those people included, so I'm never going to be able to get this achievement. But uh, they fixed that so that new people who got the game will get the achievement, but people who bought it day one Half of those people aren't going to get it. So, that sucks for me. But, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up this This Is. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm out. Be sure to check out AchievementHunter.com for more.